everyone, welcome back to my channel, Going to Dream. So today I'm involved in a collaboration and it's with 12 amazing artists from all around the world. So this collaboration, the rules were it's got to have an element of water and it's also got to have a fish. So I thought it'd be great to bring you down to the iconic River Mersey to introduce all the artists that are involved in the collaboration. So I'm going to walk along and I'll introduce each one at a different part. Enjoy! So there's 12 great artists that are involved in this collaboration. All that information's in the description below. Just pop in there and have a look and go look at their accounts and see what they've been up to. So every one of the artists involved are paint pourers, apart from me, I'm the only one who's not a paint pourer, but they do some amazing things with paint, so you need to pop along and have a look and see what they've been up to. So at the end of this video, I'm going to do a playlist. So you'll be able to click on and you'll see all the videos one after the other. So the collaboration's over two days. So on the Saturday, you've got Rose from Rose M Creations. She's starting the collaboration. And then you've got me, Glow and Supreme. So next is Nicole from NK Artistry. Then you've got Amy from Amy's Creative Acrylic. And then you've got Meta from Metapause Fluid Art. And I know I'm pronouncing her name wrong there because when I try and pronounce it how she says it, it just sounds like I'm doing some awful American accent. So I can only say it how I say it, I'm sorry. But yeah, that's Meta. And then finally on Saturday, you've got Kelly from Kelly Martial Art. And she'll round off the Saturday collaborations. So then we pop on to Sunday. So I'm at a part of the river called Fife Island and it's where the canal behind me meets the river and I'm standing on top of one of the lock gates. So Sunday it kicks off with Yanya and she is with JB Poor Art by Yanya Bremer. So next, you've got Michael with I'm Just a Poor Boy. Next to Tolly with The Morning Paul. And then you've got Robin with Robin Crisp. So next, you've got Cindy with Cynthia Porter Studios. And then finally, to cap it all off, you've got Lee with Lee Jones, Art and Life. So I don't normally do intros, but I thought because of I'm in such a I live in such a lovely location and I'm doing a painting to do with water, so it only makes sense to do an intro next to the river. <laughs> One of the best things about living near a river is that you can come down day in day out and it can look so different because the tide times is over so vast the tide height is so different so i hope you've enjoyed your tour of this stretch of the iconic river mersey so this part of the river isn't actually in liverpool it's just on the outskirts it's um sandwiched in between a town called witness and one so look at me getting over my on-camera anxiety and actually going out and filming on location. <laughs> Honestly, if I can do it, then all yous can do it. You should give it a go, it's really good. So now it's time to get on with the painting. So here I'm just using two different shades of blue and a white and I'm just gradually bringing the dark blue down to the bottom to make it have that deep sea look. So now it's dried, I've just lightly penciled on the design I'm going to use and you can see the faint outline here that I'm gonna roughly base my painting on. Here's the reference picture that I'm using as well. So if you've watched my videos before, you know that in order to make it glow the brightest that I can, I use a white base coat. So I basically paint the painting twice. I have to do a base coat in the white, and then I go over with the glow in the dark paint. So the glow in the dark paint that I use is called Lit. And I'm obsessed with this stuff if you don't know my channel yet and you do start following me you'll know that I'm obsessed with this stuff I just find it's got the brightest pigment in it if you just charge it up with a really bright light you get a really good glow from it so in order to try and do some sort of shading on this jellyfish because it's meant to be see-through I've I'm using water to water down the acrylic paint 
So it's a white acrylic paint that I'm using and I've just watered it down to create that shaded look. And I'm gonna do the same with the lip paint as well. So do me a second coat with me lip paint. So if you are gonna do a jellyfish, the best advice I could give is just get a really thin brush and just use little bits of paint on your brush each time. So you do have to keep on dabbing your brush in the paint, but to get the best effect that you wanna get, just a little bit of paint each time and just work your brush all the way down the lines. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and you'll get a new video at least every weekend. So I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Rose from Rose M Creations because she's the one who's led this collaboration and who's put it all together for us all to be a part of. So thanks so much Rose for all the work you've put into it. You've been amazing. Thanks. And everyone else as well. We've all worked as a really good tight-knit group in order to get this collaboration out there two years old. So thanks everyone for being a great support and I've learned loads from you. So thanks a lot. So when I first started doing YouTube, it was only in February this year, 2021. And I'd done a jellyfish. The jellyfish was only my second ever video that I put up. And just to see how far I've come in my painting style, just in a couple of months. Here's, um, here's a reference picture of my jellyfish from then. And this is what it looks like now. So don't give up, you, you do improve and this just shows how much you can actually improve just in a small in a small amount of time as well. So now I'm adding the top coat of lip paint, but I don't need to show you me doing the whole painting again in lip paint because it's just literally what I've just done but with the lip paint. Right, do you want to see what happens when I turn the lights off? There we go. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Right, so thanks a lot for sticking around and watching to the end. You can subscribe here to my channel. There's also a link to the collaboration playlist. So all the videos of everyone who's in this collaboration, they're all here. And then here's a link to my newest upload. So thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe, take care, and see you next time. Bye.